Hey, welcome back everyone, General Tony here, coming back with the first episode of the day, and we've actually just received the first sneak peek from Supercell, but I'm sure you guys already know that. So yeah, we've just received the level 4 Inferno Tower and the level 9 Mortar, which were already leaked about three weeks ago by Chief Spencer on the Reddit post, guys, so I'm sure many of you already know that. So we're about to get some footage up on screen, now I don't know whose footage this is, I think it's from the Alvero, who's a Spanish Clash YouTuber because Supercell didn't release any, like, footage themselves, so I've had to go and borrow someone else's footage, yeah, so shout out to the Alvero. So we're going to be testing some of these troops while he's going to be testing some of these troops on the new level 4 Inferno Tower. Now, I'm not going to lie, that, that multi-target Inferno Tower, that looks pretty damn awesome. Those chains, it goes with the ancient theme, and in my opinion, that looks pretty damn insane compared to the level 3 Inferno Tower. Now, you can see there, the level 4 one fried all of those wizards, and the level 3 one dies! So yeah, it is definitely a great upgrade. So there's going to be some footage of the level 9 mortar coming on screen right now, but obviously this isn't my footage. I, I can't really show you what I want to show you because I kind of stole this. Shh, don't tell anyone, guys. So the level 4 Inferno Tower with a single target is frying that P.E.K.K.A. And the P.E.K.K.A. actually doesn't take it out, which is great. And now, obviously, the P.E.K.K.A. is going to take out the level 3 multi-target, sorry, single target Inferno Tower. So check this out. Max P.E.K.K.A. Swipe. One more swipe, is it going to take out the single target? Oh, oh, is it going to do it? Oh, oh, damn, that was close. So yeah, quite a good upgrade from the level 3 to level 4 Inferno Tower. There's the level 9 mortar at the bottom right of the screen as well. Looks pretty damn awesome, I'm not going to lie. Now here is something we didn't expect, a new look to the air defenses. Now this is level 5, 6, 7 and 8. Level 5 and 6 look like crayons. Level 7 looks like mini crayons. And level 8 looks pretty damn boss. I like level 8, I've always liked the look of the level 8 air defense. Level 7, it just looks a bit too weak. And level 5 and 6, yeah, they look like yellow and orange crayons. I mean, there's not much more you can say on that. And so one of the final changes in this sneak peek is the fact that you can now click the Builders tab and it tells you what one of these little buggers is doing. So there's five of them obviously on this account, but you may only have two, three or five. It tells you what they're upgrading, how long is left on the upgrade, or whether they're being lazy and sleeping. And then they've also changed the aesthetic look towards the hero stand, so they got a grand, brand new Grand Warden stand. The Archer Queen stand looks boss, I like the look of that. And then they have the King stand as well, looks, looks a little bit different. I think the actual symbol in the center is a little bit different. So the real reason why most of you came here, you came here to ask me a question. You're going to say to yourself, Tony, we know Chief Spencer leaked the level 4 Inferno Tower, the level 9 Mortar, about three weeks ago on Reddit. And he also leaked other features. So does that mean because these have come true, his other features are going to also come true? Well, I'm going to go ahead and say, guys, obviously I can't confirm anything, but I'm going to go ahead and say, yeah, most likely there are going to be two new Dark Troops. We are probably also going to be receiving the level 6 Hog Riders, level 7 Goblins, and I think there's a new spell coming into the game as well, but I'm not really going to say too much on it because I don't want to put any BS out there, guys. But yeah, I'm pretty sure there's two new Dark Troops, a few new levels to some troops, and also at least one new spell, which is awesome because it's going to make the game more diverse as usual and just make us play a lot more. And then, of course, we can always hope that there's going to be something so big in the game, it's just completely revolutionary and makes us all love it again. Yep, well, I already love it, but I don't know about you guys. But I've got a feeling that one of the Dark Troops is going to be, hopefully there's two, I've got a feeling one is going to be like a Tier 1 Dark Troop, like an Archer or Barbarian, but a Dark version. And then I've got a feeling the second one is just going to take the gameplay to a whole new level. I'm kind of feeling... I'm kind of feeling a monster. Yeah, monster or an alien. Come on, Supercell, make me happy. So don't forget to leave a like down below if you have enjoyed this episode, guys. Take a guess in that comment section. What are the new troops going to be called? Have any ideas? I don't really, but let me know what your thoughts are. Stay tuned to the channel. We are going to bring you the sneak peeks as soon as we can, as soon as they are released. And we are also going to be jamming this entire update for you guys to keep you entertained. So I will see you very shortly. Love you all. Peace out.